Dare to be different, dare to make an impact in your world. Rhapsody of Realities Tavo is a great place to start. Get answers to life's questions from God's Word as you study the messages in this devotional daily. You can be sure to live a successful and victorious life. The Bible says let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities TV episode, brought to you by Raptured Pet Cost Page. Excellent morning, this is Open Mic with Jasmine, and welcome to another episode of Rhapsody of Realities Devo, a daily devotional reading for teens. Be the light of the world. Today's reading is The Real Lord's Prayer. Learn to pray the right way. To the Bible, Matthew chapter 6 verse 9, In this manner, therefore, Pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let us talk. When Jesus walked the earth, he prayed on several occasions, and his prayers are recorded for us in the scriptures. His disciples observed that he always had results when he prayed, and so they said to him, Lord, Teach us to pray in Luke chapter 11 verse 1. Thus he gave them a format for prayer. He said, In this manner therefore pray our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Written in Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. Many Christians have misconstrued this to be the Lord's prayer. They insist it's the prayer Jesus asked us to pray and that we must pray so. They further base their argument on Luke's writing in Luke chapter 11 verse 2, which reads, He said to them, When you pray, say our Father in heaven. What they fail to realize, however, is that the Greek word for say, in the foregoing verse is lego. It doesn't mean to say something, rather it means to systematically lay forth. Jesus only laid forth a format or pattern for prayer for his disciples. He didn't say we should quote or recite those words in prayer, which is what many do today. The real Lord's Prayer is in John chapter 17. Read the entire chapter and you'll be so inspired. Moreover, this model for prayer that he gave his disciples was before he went to the cross. He taught them to pray in expectation of the kingdom of God. At that time, he hadn't died for the whole world and the world was still being dominated by another kingdom, which is the kingdom of darkness. However, being born again, we've been delivered from the kingdom of darkness and translated into the kingdom of God's dear Son. Written in Colossians chapter 1 verses 12 to 13. In this kingdom, we have our needs supplied according to His riches in glory. So today, it doesn't quite make spiritual sense to recite the words in Luke chapter 11 verses 2 to 4. It's not a New Testament prayer. In the New Testament, prayer is based on our new relationship with the Father, a divine fellowship. This is what Jesus made possible. Now we pray through the Spirit and worship in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Go deeper. Read the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 1 and John chapter 16 verse 26 to 27. Let us pray. Close your eyes and say this with me. 
Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the light of the scriptures. I am informed with accurate and precise knowledge of the word, which enables me to pray the right way and have the knowledge of the glorious gospel of Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Matutong manalangin ng wasto, learn to pray the right way. Bilang bagong nilalang kay Kristo, malaya na tayo mula sa kaharian ng kadiliman. Ang buhay natin ay mula sa Diyos. Ang liwanag ng salita ay nagniningning sa atin. Manalangin tayo ayon sa banal na espiritu. Sa bagong tipan, ang panalangin ay base sa bagong relasyon natin sa ating Diyos. Mayroon tayong banal na pakikisama sa Kanya, kung kaya manalangin ng naaayon. Mula ngayon ay manalangin sa pamamagitan ng Espiritu at sumamba sa pamamagitan ng banal na Espiritu. Hallelujah! Make Jesus your new lifestyle. If you are not yet transformed, I invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life today by saying these words of prayer. O Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe Jesus died for me and that he was buried and raised from the dead. Right now, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. I receive by faith eternal life into my spirit. Thank you Lord for saving my soul. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am saved, I am born again, I am a new creation. Congratulations! You are now a child of God. Let us know you are blessed by tapping the comment below. For continuous changes, messages today. Kindly heart and comment. Let us know on how the episode helped you today. Now that you're blessed, don't let the message stop on you, please share. And help us reach the ends of the world. God bless you. It is important for you to be led in the right direction, message us today.